Graphix is a really great tool when it comes to laying out blocks on our site. This is great, especially if we are laying out blocks provided by views and other modules. But what if we still want to use regular old blocks because the root of the block system and core is not exportable, we want to bring in another module that not only gives us the ability to have blocks exportable, but gives us a ton more functionality than the core block system. Here's where the bean module is a great complement to context. In this lesson, we will take a look at the advantages of the bean module, some disadvantages, and some enhancements it offers us over the core block system. Now that we've learned about the context module and the advantages it gives us over the core block system, another module that I like to use with the context module is the bean module, which stands for blocks, entities, aren't nodes. Basically, the bean module takes care of all the situations in the past where we used to use nodes instead of blocks, such as the node is block module and all those things, so we could basically have a more powerful block. That's what Bean does for us. It gives us the ability to add fields to blocks. It gives us the ability to have view modes to blocks. So it just it gives us all those different advantages. And just like context module, the Bean module is stored in code as well. Let's quickly take a look at some of the stuff that the Bean module is doing for us in our demo site. You can see over here this cute little kitten is a block with an image field. So you are now able to do that without having to do nodes with views or just a bunch of other different types of modules. Let's go ahead and take a look what else we've got. So now it also adds to the UI this blocks link here in the shortcuts, which if you click on that, we now can see the, all the blocks that we created with the bean module. Here's where we can add a block. We can have different types of blocks. So just like content types, we now have block types. So we have in this particular demo site an image block and a quote block. So you can start creating as many different types of blocks as you want, just like you do with content types. So this now allows people that are creating content to not just create a generic block and not be able to do much with it besides adding text to it. They can start doing anything that they would normally do with a node, but it is truly a block entity. So we can also look at under structure. We also have block types. And here's where we can create all the different types of block types. We've got image blocks. We have created a quote block. And these are all the, just the current different blocks that we're using on this site. We're also now allowed to manage fields and manage display of those fields all on blocks. So basically, the bean module in a nutshell turns our block system into a much more robust, usable system by creating content types, out of blocks, but it, they are truly blocks at this particular point. Also, in conjunction with context, we can now move our blocks around created by the mean module to start placing different types of custom blocks.